Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is a review of phosphonate synthesis in chemistry. All right, so first of all, a phosphonate group looks like this. Obviously, it has a phosphorus in it, and it has a double bond to an oxygen, and then two OR groups, and it also has one regular R group. Okay, so the way that we synthesize these is usually by taking this guy, and this is a trialkyl phosphite. So notice we have all OR, OR groups at this point. And we react it with an alkyl halide, and it's really common to use esters. So basically, the alpha carbon is very electropositive. So this lone pair actually comes in, attacks here, kicking the bromine off. So your intermediate, uh, and from now on, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw this whole group as an R group. So you have, you're still have your three OR groups, plus you have your now attached R group and it has a positive charge. So now what happens is one of these oxygens comes down and it's going to reform the double bond to the O and at the same time the bromine which left in the last step is going to bond to this R group. So very carefully we have this bromine picking up an alkyl substituent and we have this uh, extra electrons on the oxygen reforming a double bond with phosphorus. So your end product is your phosphonate. So two OR groups, your regular R group, plus it's going to have Br and whatever your OR group was. So this is actually a named reaction. Its name is the Arbuzov reaction. There you have it. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is a review of phosphonate synthesis and chemistry. Mm -hmm.